saying things people already know out loud is tight. Avada Kedavra. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the Usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI. We're gonna watch Ted Lasso season one, episode three, the in uh, Trent Grimm, the independent. So clearly we're gonna get more Trent Grimm. Crim, Trent, sorry, Trent. I can't even say this prick's name. Trent Crim, the independence. Clearly we're gonna see more Trent Crim in this episode because uh, yeah, that guy's a bit of an asshole anytime they do those media things and uh, interested to see Ted interact with him a little bit more. But in the last one, I was talking about uh, Duncan Bickies and cups of tea and stuff like that. And I talked about a Tim Tam slam. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, this is a Tim Tam, it's a chocolate biscuit. And what you do is you, you turn it into a straw, all right? And you have it with your cup of tea. So got my, my cuppa right here. By the way, Brooklyn Nine-Nine episodes coming up on uh, Mondays, Ted Lasso on Tuesday, every week. You take the Tim Tam, right? And you turn it into a straw by doing this. You bite this corner. Mm -hmm. And then you bite the opposite corner. You do like that. You need to do this with a hot drink. Somebody said they do it with vodka. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but I've got like a diagonal straw now. You put it in there, melts quick. Oh shit, shit! Rookie mistake. <laughs> the Tim Tam is now in the cup of tea. Um, this is uncharted territory. I try to get fancy with it. Uh, I guess I just have Tim Tam flavored tea, which doesn't sound bad to be completely honest, but maybe look up somebody else's YouTube tutorial on how to do a Tim Tam slam because <laughs> that did not go to plan. <laughs> with all that being said, Ted Lasso, Trent Krim, The Independent, Let's check it out. Oh my god, I, I like slurped that whole bicky up. Oh my god, this is... Wow, I gotta sit through ads on Apple TV? Alright. That's weird, the ad, the commercial is actually like a part of the runtime. Ah, this is, uh, this lady. She's in a pretty good mood. They got the photos of Ted with, um, with the, uh, the model chick, Jamie's girlfriend. What, it didn't make the news? Now Ted's gonna show up with biscuits, fuck. Knock, knock. Hey boss, I don't know about you, but I had an absolute peach of a Sunday. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow, she really, really is addicted to those biscuits. Comfort food to the max. I love how big of a uh, plot point these biscuits are at the moment. Cause yeah, uh, what's the, the lady's name? W Welton, Melton? That's a character I'm very interested in seeing what happens more with. I'm. Ted's very interesting, but I think I'm more curious to see what her story is. What time did you get home last night? Didn't. Really? Oh. Yeah. Now look, our whole offense right now is all give and go. Give the ball to Jamie and everyone else and go to hell. So I am officially on the prowl for any new ideas, you hear? Oh, Nathan, what do you got to suggest here? It's, you know what, it's not very even very good. It's probably really bad. You know what, it's embarrassing even. I just... Sorry, Nate, I have a real tricky time hearing folks that don't believe in themselves, so I'm at <laughs> This idea will work. Yeah, I do. Whoa! Why are you screaming at us? <laughs> so you use Jamie as a decoy? No. Mm -hmm. No. Well, yeah. In, yeah. In this case, yes. Let's give it a shot. What are you going to use my play? How excited would that guy be? <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I like this. I, I love it. He has no ego whatsoever. Anyone give him a good idea, he's happy to take it. That's the kind of character that I really, really like to see. Like, somebody that's just open and open to collaborate and be nice about it and letting people talk. It's, yeah, it's good. Ted, this is really bad. I look insanely fit in this picture. <laughs> Jamie's talk breaks Tot's heart. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. Everyone would read that. Of course they would. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good, Ted. Hey, boss. Ted! And Keely, hello! Hey, no. And the fucking sun is running it tomorrow. Honestly, these people, they just have no regard for people's privacy and dignity. <laughs> this woman right here is strong, confident, and powerful. 
Boss, I tell you, I'd hate to see you and Michelle Obama arm wrestle. But I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off it either. <laughs> oh, that's not a compliment I've I'd, had before. I'd watch that arm wrestling competition. That'd be great. Action figure arms. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, yeah. she's pretty Glad uh, to help. sculpted, right. man. Thank you. Pretty, yeah. Okay. See y'all later. Put in a few hours at the gym. I'm not a spy, Rebecca. I'm just the director of football operations. And equally proficient at both. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sam wide open. There it is. <laughs> Nathan is exhilarated by this. Play, Nate. How you feel? Jamie's ego is very fragile. We're gonna run two laps around this field. Anyone who loses to me has to run four more. Let's go! Okay, oh, fuck. Nice. What you got? <laughs> Ted, you are a great coach. This is why your team is going to win the championship one day. That's got to be where this is going. Well, what's going on? I thought you ran track in high school or something. Chess team coach. Mm -hmm. Illinois State champs a bit. <laughs> Some gifts up in y'all's lockers. Your little cubbies up there, so hope you enjoy them. What is he giving them? A book? Oh my god, he gave him all something different? Book. Wow. A wrinkle in time. So you'll take care of it? No. Oh, he wants Roy to step up. Why are you winding him up? He's the one, coach. We're gonna make an impact here. First domino needs to fall, right inside that man's heart. Wow. And this show is quite deep. Relationships we're seeing here are just so good. It's so interesting. So when I pick on Nate, you go. And you laugh. Yeah. They think it's okay. Right, because Nate's a weak baby and he can't do anything about it. Jamie. <laughs> you prick. Yeah, all right. Belland, yeah? <laughs> You come to the clubs tonight? Hold on, will you be there? Of course, bro. Then fuck no! <laughs> Keep it up. Makes me laugh. Wow, Jamie. <laughs> he's, he's a piece of work, man. It is an outstanding fan base. Yes. One I believe I can put an end to. Oh, shit. Okay. So, I spoke to the owner of The Sun. You spoke to God? No, the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> MVP! MVP! <laughs> MVP! <laughs> well, I know Trent. Yeah, he's a tough cookie. Ready? Yeah. That's okay. You know what you do with tough cookies, don't you? No. Dip them in milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just make sure you don't drop it in the milk and then it disintegrates and then you have to drink it later on. <laughs> Out of way, Sammy. How'd that feel? Oh, wonderful, Coach. I felt that one in my penis. <laughs> Give me the ball. I would like the ball, please. You know, I'm making a performance. I want you winning an Oscar at the ESPYs next year. Well, you want me to run the card? That's great advice, man. I've always funnier than Step Brothers. Ooh, high praise. That scene where the bunk bed collapses. I used to think that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. But then I just saw that. And now I'm going to have to rethink my order of what I think is the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Who's Nate the Great? Oh yeah, there he is. Someone's been walking the dog here. Found another poo. <laughs> That's great, Nate. Anything to add, Coach? Good kid. Boy, oh boy. That's high praise. You, Coach Beard, you know what a big deal that was. <laughs> yeah, don't you? Whoa. Well, hell, there's your story right there. You got a headline, everything. Man nods head. <laughs> Jamie not talk to you about leaving him alone. Oh shit. <laughs> Trying to make me feel responsible for fucking Nate, whose last name I don't even know. <laughs> Hold it, y'all cowboys. My name is Ted Lasso, and I'm from Kansas. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> oh, you're like really, really bad at impressions, man. <laughs> I'm Roy Kent. And I get paid to play a game, but I'm mad. 
all the time. <laughs> Oh, Keely's funny, man. I like that character. There was a party in the locker room. Do you feel it sends the right message, having a party after a loss? They're not celebrating the loss, man. I just wanted to come and thank you again for stopping that picture from running. <laughs> and I bought you a present. Made me think of you. It's strong <laughs> and a bit prickly. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. Oh. You know, I've decided to not be scared of you anymore. I didn't know you were. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, fucking terrified of you. <laughs> Because he was the one that cheated, and he came across that Prince Charming. It really pissed me off. Well. All right, ladies. Having a bit of a bonding session, are we? Oh, my God, that means there's a picture of you naked on a yacht. Can I see it? Is it here? Oh, come on. You wouldn't have said something if you weren't. I would give that a look. I was taken from a helicopter while I was sunbathing. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, Rebecca. Are those your real tits? I feel like a teenage boy. I can't stop staring at them. <laughs> I can't believe you stopped this from running. I would have shown everyone. Right. <laughs> I, I really need to get on. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> that escalated quick from I'm not terrified of you anymore to, all right, here, look at my tits. Blew my brains out with those beautiful breasts of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Keely has got it hard for Rebecca. I didn't think that Richmond Primary would win a single game, much wow. less the league championship. Thanks for telling us that you thought we were all a bunch of losers, mate. So if you please help me welcome the captain of your AFC Richmond squad, Roy Kent! There you go. <laughs> the kid at the front. <laughs> Never been much for public speaking. Or school, really. <laughs> Always seemed like a waste of time to me. <laughs> Why don't we get out of this stuffy auditorium, go out on the pitch and have a proper fuck about? Good work, Roy. Fucking niece goes here. Oh, yeah? Which one is she? That idiot. <laughs> Go. Perfect. Next. Heads. Roy is a good guy underneath. He's just angry. <laughs> yeah, Ted. Probably a good idea. Get some reps in, buddy. We might have ourselves a dog. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. That's right on the button. Ah. All right, definitely Roy's. Good job, Phoebe. Oh. <laughs> Phoebe. You've got a bright future. Sorry about the blood there. Oh. There you go. What? Don't use it to clone me. That's me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. I don't know. I thought he was like, I was like, is he on cocaine or is he got cancer? Like, well, where is this blood coming from? Yeah, he copped a ball in the face. You stupid gifts. I mean, what even is a wrinkle in time? It's a lovely novel. It's the story of a young girl's struggle with the burden of leadership as she journeys through space. Yeah. Wow, it. yeah. Very. Am I supposed relevant. to be the little girl? <laughs> I like yes. it. <laughs> Trent, you're a colossal prick. You always have been. Phoebe, come on. Keep it real, Roy. Let battle commence. <laughs> All right. This is Ted Lasso, not Cobra Kai. Oh, Cobra Kai finale, dude. Check it out. Are you okay with a little bit of spice? Have them make it for us like we're a couple members of the family. <laughs> You're a brave man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the most like, I don't know, uh, polite order ever. Like, Can't imagine they have good Indian food in Kansas. Oh, I have no idea. I've never had Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, take it easy, man. Ooh. 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 <laughs> it's hotter than a tin roof in the middle of summer. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, really, I can't. Well, hey, yo, come on, just don't blow my. You're good. So, if, uh, you love Kansas so much, why did you. <laughs> what you're doing is irresponsible. This club actually means something to this town. I know that. I do. Tramp, what do you love? That's a pretty valid point, actually. Like, especially in the UK and especially with football. Hey, I said football. It's serious business. People, it affects people's lives. Let me ask you this. Is my tongue still in my mouth? <laughs> I am about to hallucinate from all the heat here. <laughs> I really should go. Deadlines and all. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do the work. Is Trent not gonna run the story? <laughs> Normally, one dish is plenty, mm. but we know how you Americans like to eat, innit? 
Let's do it, huh? <laughs> Try that one. I don't eat much Indian food, so I don't know what any of these things are, but I imagine they're like lava. Beautiful, right? Yeah, it's beyond beautiful. It's hot. <laughs> Mrs. Witch's voice was grave. What do you understand? Really? Wow. Fuck! That's a bad word, Uncle Roy. I will mind your own business, Phoebe. <laughs> Read it to me. Title? Wayward Ted. <laughs> hey, fellas, how you doing? That's for you to decide. Piss off, wanker! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he insisted twice that he didn't care if Richmond won or lost. That's not what he said, you asshole. He said he doesn't measure success with win or losses. Wins and losses. Why have you stopped reading? Uh, well, uh, please do me the favour of remembering that these aren't my words, it's Trent Krim. Keep going. Hello, well, Roy. <laughs> I didn't know it was a retirement party. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop messing with Nate! Now, I don't know which one of you are nutted because I don't see so well at night anymore, but that goes for all of you! You leader! The leader is good. The leader Vanilla is great. Vodka. We will surrender our will as of this day. Such a child. Vanilla vodka, yeah. Bro. Keely? Roy? Whether that means allowing followers to become leaders. Oh, Roy. Careful. Eating food so spicy it's sure to wreak massive havoc on his intestinal system. <laughs> Ted Lasso will fail here and Richmond will suffer the embarrassment of relegation. I won't gloat when it happens because I can't help but root for him. Wow. <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> Even Trent Krim cannot with withstand the... Uh, beauty that is Ted Lasso. Oh my god. What a great episode. I'm so glad we got to see more of Roy. I wanna- I might even just watch the next one now. I don't know. Sometimes I feel a little bit froggy and I might upload an extra episode here or there, but I'm- I want to know so much more about these characters and I love that Trent Krim, they've built this guy up to be like the snooty London tabloid guy. Well, I, is this a fucking joke? I believe is what he says in the first episode. And even he can't, like, bring himself to, like, discredit Ted Lasso and, like, hate on the guy. Cause like, come on, man. How can I hate on this dude? He's the nicest guy on the planet. And he really is. Um, I, I love the fact that the biscuits have still been a constant through this episode, uh, this series as well. Keely is a very interesting character. She's uh, she's had a lot to do with everyone. She's had conversations with Roy. She's had conversations with Ted. She's had conversations with Jamie. She's had conversations with um, Tits McGee. What's her name? Um, Rebecca, uh, the blonde one, the, the, the boss lady. She seems to be a pretty big part of this series. So I'm going to be watching her very closely and uh, I can't wait to get to uh, episode four we're up to now. As always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.